Hey guys, Zarak here, and today I bring you guys another tutorial for Inform 7. I believe this is number 6. So today we're going to be doing music, sounds, whatever you want to say, um, images and extensions. So we're going to be working out how to implement and use sounds and images, and then also how to use extensions. Now I'm going to be focusing on one extension in particular, but there's many extensions, some built into Info7 already, and others that you can find online on the Inform website and on Infiction, etc. etc. So we're going to be focusing on three files today uh, that we can see in my downloads folder. We're going to be focused on this file here and these two files here. Pretty, pretty simple. So Dead Pulse is a sound file it's actually a soundtrack that I got on um, free sound if you guys are using if you guys want to make videos or anything like that um, and you want to use royalty free sounds sound effects sound tracks free sound is a great website to use um, everything is made and uploaded by the user as far as I'm aware so there shouldn't be any copyright um, I would still probably credit the people that you use your stuff for if you can uh, their uh, uploader name but everything should be free to use and sorry if I sound a bit nasally hay fever is an ass so for some reason Inform7 only uses OGG and AIFF files uh, they're basically the raw files of audio as far as I'm aware uh, but don't quote me on that I don't know why they don't use WAVs or MP3s but they just use OGGs and AIFFs don't know why but they do so make sure that everything uh, every sound, every soundtrack you want to use is in these formats. Most of them are going to be in WAV and MP3, but converters do exist and they work. So that's always great to use. Uh, with images, um, I believe PNGs, uh, probably JPEGs work as well, but I just always go for PNGs. Um, so you want to stick them, uh, stick to them. So if I go here, uh, you can see this is our things so far that we've just put loads of random crap in um, and let's say that when we go to the kitchen we want this dead pulse sound to play the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your uh, you, uh, so mine's you, uh, YT obviously YouTube you want to go to the materials folder so whatever your project is materials folder as you can see if I am in my final code I also have a materials folder in this as well so you want to go in materials folder. Now at the moment we've just got release in here which has nothing in there because I haven't released the game. But what you want to do is you want to make two folders. You want to make one called sounds and you want to make one called figures. So Now as you can probably guess sounds are going to go in the sounds file and images are going to go in the figures file. I don't know why they call it figures but that's what they call it. So what we want to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take um, this and we're going to drag them into here and we're going to put dead pulse into sounds and first character map into figures. Now this is just a quick uh, map that I made for my Beast Within game. Uh, it's a flowchart to see where you can go. Obviously that won't actually apply to this um, you know, mock-up but it works as just as a stock image. Now I'm just going to quickly, I've got my final code um, still on my um, uh, other monitor here so I can make sure that I'm definitely doing it right. So we go back to our uh, thing now. So we want to put it there, we want to have the sound of dead pulse being when you enter the kitchen. So the first thing we want to do is we want to... Um, define the sound that's what you want to do so it's very very simple it is sound of dead pulse is the file dead pulse.ogg now this what this will do is that it will go to that sounds file folder it will find dead pulse.ogg and that will now be linked to the uh, words of dead pulse in the program, a bit like a variable, it's basically a variable for the sound very easily. Um, same way is we're going to also have the image, so if we want to have a figure of first character 
no, first chapter, sorry. Map is the file first chapter map.png. You always need to make sure that these are in speech marks and also it is the right ending. Uh, make sure there is no spelling mistakes whatsoever. That is the worst thing you can do because then it will try and read this file name that doesn't exist and it will get itself all confused and it will be like, well, what the hell? So, we've defined these two, no problem. Now, this is where the extensions come in. So if we go back to the documents folder here, you can see I've got this thing here called music.i7x. Now i7x is inform 7s codec thing, I don't know what the X stands for, but i7 stands for inform 7. And this is an extension done by someone called Daniel Stelzer, who helped me with the Beast Within um, on Infiction. I believe his um, username on there is Draconis. Uh, and I'll put it, uh, his code down in the description below. And I'll just quickly show you guys how to uh, actually do that. So let me just quickly get my internet all sorted out because I had loads of things on here. So if I drag this out, so you can see I'm in, I'm in Infiction now. I was just on a random post. So if we go on uh, viewing it, sounds not playing, which is where I found it out. And you can see here. So Draconis, um, that is Daniel Stelzer. Is the guy that made the code as far as I'm aware. I believe he used the old code from i6, Inform 6, uh, which I took out. Uh, so he nicely linked it here into a GitHub, and this is all the code here. Now, to make an extension, it's really, really simple. I had to make sure, that's why I was on that previous post, that I did it right, uh, because I believe my tutor did it for me, so I forgot how to do it. So I'm going to go to the bottom here, and go to the side here, and just drag this up really 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 easy now I'm gonna hit copy now I'm gonna go back to the downloads folder I'm gonna get rid of that for now and we're gonna to go to a new text document now you want to call this one music.i7x now I don't know whether you actually need the I to be lowercase or uppercase I just put it lowercase and it works um, you you don't have to call it music but I would call it music because otherwise info might get self confused I don't know, I just called it music previously and it worked. Now you want to load up this text document and you want to put what is in there. Now I've put all the uh, documentation stuff as well at the bottom here. Uh, you'll be able to read this. So basically what this is, is it tells um, in form, you know, this is stuff that works. And then these are all the commands for you to use. I'll get into that in a second. So that's what you want to do. You hit save, you hit X. Now you come back into your final code. Uh, it didn't load up. Oh, it's not, oh no, not final code, sorry. What am I on about? Uh, YouTube. And then you want to go up to file. You want to hit install extension. And you want to go to documents, uh, to download, sorry, because obviously mine's in downloads. And you can see at the moment it's not registering as an i7x. Don't know why, it just doesn't. Uh, I don't know whether I messed anything up or whatever when I did this, but it works. Uh, so you go down here, you can see you've got all files. Uh, we go down, we find music.i7x, which you can see, it's the file we did, and we hit OK. A new version is uh, already installed, because obviously I've already installed this previously. Uh, you won't get this, but I'm just going to hit yes anyway. Installation complete, extension music with Daniel Stelz version 1 installed successfully. And at the bottom here, you can see that I've got all the installed uh, extensions. So some of these from like Emily Shaw is already installed. Now what we can do is we can open this up uh, we can find all that which probably isn't going to be much help to you or you can go to open install install extension then it stills up music and then it comes up with the exact um, text that we put into that text document so everything is here. So if we're going back to what we wanted to do we wanted to have the sound of dead pulse playing when we go into the kitchen. Now you can simply do that just by putting um, after entering kitchen play the sound of. That's simple. But what if we want it to loop? Because if you're in a room for a certain amount of time, um, obviously the soundtrack's only going to go on for so long. So you might want it to keep repeating over and over again. So that's where these come for. So 
we're going to use this code here to loop sfx equal is the sound name now the sound channel of blah 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 is blah internally play this sfx blah 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 simple all right, all right it is simple it doesn't look it but it is now one thing to note is the beauty about this code here is this line here this is what basically makes the whole code um work in a sense so a sound channel is a kind of value the sound channels are foreground background midground he's already done that for you daniel stelzo has already done that for you this is already known to inform inform already knows this so all you gotta know is the foreground the background and midground now as far as i'm aware they don't actually change anything um uh, they're just three different like channels so to speak um i think of it like radio channels uh you know 94.1 might be something different to 94.6 and 98.1 for example they're all different channels um so that's what they are so basically you can play up to three sounds at, um once you can actually add more but i don't know how to add more i'm guessing you just change this but uh, i'm not too complex into that um maybe you can go on in fiction message uh daniel and he might be able to help you with that as it is his code after all um, even though it is based on code by these guys. So anyway, so we're going to use this code here. So to loop the sound, blah, blah, blah. So what we want to do is we want to copy this, All right? Very simple. We're going to copy that. We're going to close that. We're back to our thing. Now we want to change. So if we want it to be in the kitchen, I'm just going to put it under here after, um, I think it's going to kitchen. Colon, and then let's paste this. Now we obviously want to change this a little bit. So the sound channel of the FSFX is in the foreground. Now play the SFX on the foreground repeating one time. Simple. This FS, um, SFX, you just change to whatever it's called. So we called it sound of dead pulse. Now you have to put the sound in. I don't know why. Uh, you have to put sound of in. And uh, again, you need to put it where this is. So sound of dead pulse and that is going to repeat one time let's just change that to six times we're not going to listen to it all six times but let's have it there and let's put comma there and continue the action always put that in it's common practice now now if we hit replay I actually have no idea it's actually breaking something why have you broken I uh, put no. Why have you broken? Oh, that's why. That's me being stupid. So one thing I forgot to say is you need to put this line of code in here. So same way we did this uh, display banner rule, we need to put this in. Include music by Daniel Stelza. This is basically saying that we are using this extension. I completely forgot about that because it's a really small piece of code. So that is. You know, the, that is a base piece of code that you need. Uh, that's the same with any extension. So if I'm using uh, basic screen effects by Emily Short, I'll put include basic screen effects by Emily Short. So it's saying, right, I'm going to load this up while I load this uh, your program up. That was my bad. Now it should work. There we go. Okay. So you can actually hear it's still playing, even though we're now in the bedroom. I'm actually going to turn it down a bit. I don't know how loud it's going to be to you guys. It's a quite an eerie track as well. Uh, it's just a track I picked out. Uh, so we're going to stop that right now. So you can see it's still playing even though we're in the bedroom now. Um, but it would play when we're going to thingy. So if I go into, if I hit go instead, you can see it's not actually playing anything. If we go south, I believe it was. Oh yeah, we've got to uh, unlock the door. Why did I put that in? Uh, now we go south. You can hear it's playing. But if I go north, it's still playing. So what you might want to do is you might want to have it that um, at a moment we can only go to the bedroom. So after going to the bedroom, stop the sound of dead pulse. I believe that will work. I might have messed something up, so we'll go and have a C. Uh, that makes no sense whatsoever. 
So that might not actually work, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, well it's not playing anything. So let's hit go. And if we go south. Okay, well I've got... Gone out the door again. Okay, it's playing. We can hear it's playing. And we go north. And it's not playing anymore. So that's beautiful. Now, obviously that's only just one uh, sound. But like I said, you can have multiple. You can have one on the uh, background and one on the mid-ground as well. So you can have up to three sounds playing at once. Uh, like I have in the Beast Within. So that is extensions. And that is um, sounds. Now let's go into figures. So it's not actually that hard. Um, I'm going to make a new... Um, action here I'm actually going to nab this from my final code just because it's easier to write than this um, so we're gonna put it here and it's gonna be let's just put it do I even make an action section no I didn't that is really bad of me all right so Mapping is an action applying to nothing. Understand map as mapping. Understand look at map as mapping. Just because this is for a map. After mapping. Display the figure. Of first chapter. Map. Continue the action. So it is a simple. Action. After thing. If you're making it a separate action. Blah blah blah. Obviously, if you're moving into a room for the first time, maybe have um, after um, going to let's say if we're going to the kitchen, after going to the kitchen for the first time, uh, just by the um, figure of blah blah blah. Now, if we hit replay, hopefully we don't break anything. And if we hit map here, it looks a bit glitchy. Sometimes you have to move it. I don't know whether that's because my thing's really big or what, but you can see there is a image there. So that is going to be it guys for this episode. Uh, like I said we're coming to a close um, to the series now. I think I'm going to do some little uh, pieces of code that I've missed out during this um, you know, tutorial. That will include the action bar uh, which is the top bar here in the black. Uh, you can't see my uh, thing but it's the uh, black thing that says bedroom at the top of the um, story thing. And I'll also be going over chapters, scenes, and I think a couple of other things that I've forgotten. So, anyway guys, this was Ark. If you guys enjoy, leave a like down below. I hope you guys are, um, you know, getting used to Inform 7, learning stuff, and hopefully being able to use it. As always, a playlist is down in the description. I keep forgetting, but I've now put them in there. So that is all good and dandy. And I'll say it again. I will be releasing the source code of the Beast Within after I finish with doing this tutorial. That will be something that will happen. So anyway guys, this is Mazark. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.